What is up, guys? Broken Prophet here. And as promised, we're going to start our readings, you know, our daily carpools. I know it's a little late in the day. It's like two o'clock. You're like, Prophet, shoot, I could have used this information earlier, but not this pool. This pool is more for, well, when I pulled the cards and I looked at them, I'm like, okay, it's more to help people moving forward. All right. And these are these cards speak of the result of an action on your part. All right. And again, I'm pulling from the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot. And I've got the Simbi card, the Courier de Mardi Gras card, and I got the card of Ogun for the immediate future. So immediate past, present, immediate future. <coughs> Excuse me. The immediate past card, the Simbi card, it speaks about magic having been used. And y'all out here watching my videos and stuff, and maybe y'all out here dabbling, but you're just not getting it. And it also talks about the... Um, improper application of force now this especially rang true for me um just to bring it into perspective sometimes you know me being a root man you know but also me being a, a human being sometimes i'll cut somebody out when a simple sweetness spell would have sufficed or sometimes we'll do a spell when maybe a hug or a kiss would have worked you know more a kind word a gentle word or maybe just sticking up for ourselves instead of like resorting to spirituality. So this card in immediate past position speaks about that. The improper or over application of force when something a lot more simple would have sufficed. And that ties right into the Mardi Gras card because that card, you know, speaks about, you know, things swirling in the air, things um, seeming to be in chaos, can chaos and a little bit of turmoil. And I guarantee if you're feeling that right now, if you're listening to this reading, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're feeling that about your life or things going on around you, where well, you can look back to an improper application of force being the, being the cause of it. And this ties right in to the Ogun card. You know, we know, you know, Ogun, the Arisha, blah, blah. But in the essence of reading this spread, and reading these cards, you know, that Ogun is the Orisha of iron. This, it talks about containing very strong internal, external forces. So maybe you're looking at your life and things aren't the way you want them to be. Your situation is not the way you want it to be. And you're looking, you're like, you look back to the first card, you're like, why did I do that? Or did I do the right thing? Listen, you cannot go back and change it. I'm the best there is at what I do but not even I have found a spell to go back and change the past. All we can do is live in the present and shape the future. And this Ogun card in the future, it speaks about the pressure that you're under. It, spe it speaks about the forces that are either exerting pressure on you or that you're trying to contain inside yourself. You know, when you're looking at that phone, wishing somebody would call and text and they don't and it just makes you sick. You know, maybe your mama call and you're like, Bro, hey, phone. You're like, oh, shoot, it's mama. Drive you so crazy when you want to talk to your mama. You're under a lot of pressure, but Ogun is the energy to withstand the pressure. And also, there's a saying that goes with this card that says an old gun can still fire a lethal bullet. So don't give up. Okay, don't give in. You will get through this. You just gotta hold on. Let's say as we say down here, hold what you got. Hold what you got. All right. If this rang true for you, good. If um, if it doesn't, what, what do they say? If it doesn't resonate with you right now, still keep it in mind because things are on the way for you. All right. This is our very quick reading, guys. I'm gonna do this every day for you. If you want a um, if you want a private personalized reading, you can do that. Just contact the website down in the comment section or down in the about section of this video. All right. Thank y'all so much. Have a blessed day. And hey, the weekend is almost here, babies.